Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa. I am the owner and artist here at the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. I'm also a Dixie Belle brand ambassador and today I have something really cool to show you. You're going to see it now. Nobody has ever seen it before and I'm kind of excited. Are you ready? Stay tuned and get ready to have some fun. So are you ready to see my big surprise? Are you ready to see what I'm so super excited about? It is a brand new transfer being released by Dixie Belle and guess what? It's something that has been inspired by me. This is a brand new transfer. It's called Buds and Branches Transfer. It's brand new from Dixie Bell. It's inspired by me at the Top Drawer RVA, and I'm very proud and excited to introduce it to you today. So what happened? How do we get to design these beautiful things? Well, out of the 12 brand ambassadors, we were able to get together, work with Dixie Belle, and design something inspired directly by us. So this piece has a lot of beautiful flowers. I love flowers. I love to use them on all of my furniture and pieces and decor, but it's inspired by me, which means I had to include something a little off the wall and kind of fun and whimsical. We're gonna open it up, have a look, and I'm gonna show you my tiny surprise inside this transfer. So what's inside the buds and branches transfer? I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna open this up together and you're gonna help me decorate this beautiful piece of furniture behind me. This is being painted in Hampton Olive. Hampton Olive is a gorgeous muted olive color from the Silk Line and Dixie Belle. But my flowers are gonna accent this perfectly. I'm also gonna teach you a little tip and trick to designing a piece around a transfer. Are you ready? So inside my beautiful transfer, there are four huge sheets of images. Huge, huge sheets of images. Okay, so we have two different types of flowers, and here's how, here's how I did it. I wanted to plan these flowers so that they would be able to be attached together. So there's a couple sheets that go together, there's a couple sheets that are separate, but all of them can be put on one piece. So on this page, you have your beautiful magnolias, you have a couple small cherry blossoms, you have some beautiful black and white images that are actually transparent. So you're able to put these images and attach them all together. You can cut them up, you can group them together. This is super fun and fabulous. Okay, so now you've seen sheet number one. Each sheet is actually numbered so that if you wanted to put them together and create a large image, you can. I have two parts on this one page. Now, if you look at these images, you can actually see that they're gonna go together to create one larger image. They're very big, they're very bold, they're very purple, and I absolutely love them. You've still got your cute little flowers on the side, the black and white images that you can build off of, but if you wanted to put a massive flower on the front of your piece of furniture or decor, these two sheets line up together and you can do that. Okay, last but not least, here's my tiny surprise on my transfer. And I had to add them in because there needs to be some fun and whimsy somewhere. Furniture cannot be boring. You have to make sure that you're making it individual to yourself, adding your little thing that makes it all about you. And this is what I added into my transfer. So, if you look at this page at the top corner, you're gonna find some really cute little bugs. These bugs are adorable. Some of them are black and white images. There's one very colorful beetle. But when you combine that with some really cute flowers, you're gonna get a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of whimsy on one piece of furniture. So there you have it. Let's take this beautiful transfer, Buds and Branches, inspired by me, Melissa, at the Top Drawer RVA, and decorate this gorgeous Hampton Olive dresser. We're gonna do it together, we're gonna to have a lot of fun, and I'm gonna show you how my transfer is gonna make your piece from boring to fabulous. Okay, so I've removed the hardware on this piece. It has been painted in two beautiful even coats of silk all-in-one paint. The color used is Hampton Olive. The reason I chose this color, and here's my handy dandy tip that I talked about in applying a transfer, is that you can use this little sneaky trick to picking an amazing combination of colors, okay? So when you look at Hampton Olive and you look at my transfer, what do you see? Do you see a couple things that kind of go together? If you look really closely at the flowers and the images on this beautiful transfer, the new Buds and Branches transfer, you're going to see Hampton Olive here in these flowers. If you looked at this, you would see T-Rose. If you looked up here at these bugs, 
you could see cobalt. Let's see, we can find a ton of colors on this transfer. So by choosing your paint color based on the transfer that you want to use, you know that they're going to go together perfectly. I see palmetto, I see some lucky lavender, I see some plum crazy. You pick the colors from your transfer for your piece and they are obviously going to match wonderfully because you're going to have the same color in your transfer. So think, of, think about these things when you're picking your, your transfer and you're picking your piece. I picked Hampton Olive because of the color here in these blossoms, knowing that it's going to blend absolutely perfect together. Okay, so let's talk about this transfer and placement. I have designed this transfer to be used on multiple pieces. I like to work on smaller pieces in general. I don't like to paint huge pieces of furniture, but you have a couple of options. Since this transfer could go on the entire piece altogether because you can cut up the placement and decide where you want to put them, that's one option. The second option for me would be to look at these two sheets and go, okay, I see this corner piece and I see this corner piece. Imagine that the drawer here has this beautiful corner piece and then it's on the side here. Imagine this one is down here and then you could take this larger image and spread it across both drawers in the middle. It's very easy to cut this with a knife as you're working. You don't have to worry about wrapping around corners. These transfers are bendable. You can shape them around corners and they go on like a dream, okay? So that's one option. Imagine that obviously these little flowers be cut out and placed to cover these two front drawers. So that's one part of this transfer. This is the second part. Remember I said that these two can go together, right? You can actually attach them together to make one very large image. I'm gonna hold it up across the front of this dresser. So let's imagine that, say, this piece and this piece were together in the middle. Let's discount these are like a surrounding flowers because these are parts that I put there on purpose so that you could cut them up and place them on your piece. So do you like better this huge image across the front or do you like the smaller ones kind of grouped together? It's a multi-purpose transfer, y'all. I did this on purpose so that you could use one transfer on two different pieces or one transfer on the whole entire piece. It's entirely up to you. Once you're ready to start designing your piece, you can cut the transfer into the parts you'd like to use. I like to cut up all of my images and lay them flat on the surface or on the floor to see the layout. Using blue painter's tape, you can set up your images on the front of your piece. This is a great way for you to kind of see your design before you actually put it onto the furniture. Now you're ready to begin. Peel off the white backing from your transfer image. Place down your transfer image onto the piece of furniture. Press gently to make sure that it is adhered to the piece. Using the enclosed burnishing tool, you can push down the image and it will release from the paper. You can see the color of the image change. This way you know your image has been released onto the furniture. I like to use my fingernail and score the images around any edges that there might be underneath the transfer. This allows me to make sure that it's going to stick in those areas before I start to push it down and allow it to not shift. Using the burnishing tool, pick a corner and start to burnish your image down. You can change direction anytime you like and pull back the paper to make sure it's releasing gently. I love using these bells and whistles transfers. They release so easily, bend well around corners, and don't crack.
Keep adding your images, layering and designing as you go along, and then burnish them down onto the front of the piece. The great thing about this transfer design is the ability to cut up the images and place them on and design your own look. Every single time you use it, it's going to look different on every single piece. I added images to the top of this piece. I used every single part of my transfer, layering the blooms, the bugs, the buds, and the branches. For some added bling to the front of this piece, I taped down some stripes and added Moonshine Metallics and Gold Digger. I love the way that these gold stripes look with the purple transfer, just beautiful. Add a little bit of bling with some gold wax around the edges and it is done. Even though this piece is painted with a beautiful silk mineral paint that has the built-in top coat, I need to seal my transfers. You can seal any transfers with wax, with clear coat, with gator hide, it's totally up to you. I use satin clear coat and my blue sponge to apply to the top of the dresser as well as the front where the images were adhered to the piece. Thanks for joining me on my painting journey today. I hope you enjoyed the new Buds and Branches transfer from Dixie Bell. You can find them located under the Bells and Whistles.